After I slipped in the lobby, I thought everything was fine, but it wasn't. The next day, my doctor told me to call an attorney, so I called the Barnes firm. I didn't think I had a case, but I did. Not sure if you have a case? Call the Barnes firm now for your free consultation. If you or anyone in your family has been injured, call America's largest injury law firm. Call Morgan & Morgan. For the people. This is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Now at five, Southland residents still rushing toward the coast, searching for ways to beat the heat. The high temperatures and humidity have parts of SoCal feeling like a sauna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. You're watching KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Pat Harvey. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juan Fernandez in for Jeff Vaughn. Now to a live look outside. Pretty muggy today compared to last week. What many people are wondering, will, will, be, will we be cooling off anytime soon? Well, we are tracking the heat with team coverage. KCAL Zoga Ospina is monitoring our highs from the Weather Center. And Joy Benedict is sweating it out in Burbank. Mm -hmm. Let's start with Olga and what's happening right now in your next weather forecast. Olga. Yeah, you know, it is extreme heat uh, for inland spots and, of course, nice along the coastline. Here's a look. Uh, 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock hour, 80 degrees right now. We've been in the upper 80s for the LA area and of course in the 90s and 100s as we head a little bit further inland uh, for places like the valleys at uh, the Inland Empire and we're going to keep it going. Take a look at temperatures uh, as we head into really all of our regions. Uh, mid 90s right now in Pasadena as we head into Chino. 102 still in San Bernardino and still a hot one in places like Santa Clarita in the upper 90s. Of course relief from the heat along the coastline although we have a lot of humidity uh, today, and uh, that's all because of uh, a lot of that sea breeze uh, with the warmer temperatures for the ocean and this area of high pressure overhead that's still going to stay with us really throughout the week. We've seen it shift just a bit to the east, but it's still bringing us some really hot temperatures continuing over the extended period. So I'll show you the seven day forecast and uh, get ready because it is a hot one. That's all coming up in a few minutes. Back to you guys. All right, we will see you then, Olga. Now, crews are braving the dangerous heat as they continue to battle for wildfires in Riverside County. The biggest one is the Rabbit Fire burning southeast of Moreno Valley. The blaze is now 35% contained. It scorched nearly 8,000 acres. The roads that remain closed include southbound Highway 79, County Landfill Road, Jack Rabbit Trail, and Bridge Street. Some evacuation orders have now been reduced to warnings. Well, the attack on the brush fire in the Gavilan Hills near Paris proved successful so far. Firefighters have kept the flames to just 338 acres, burned with half of the fire now contained. All road closures and evacuation warnings are still in effect, though, as of right now. And as the climate heats up, so are tempers over plans to get rid of trees in a Burbank neighborhood. Well, KCAL's Joy Benedict explains why the city wants mm -hmm. to remove them and what residents are doing to try and stop them. They are the sweet sounds of Niagara Street that neighbors have come to love. And I picked this street specifically because of the trees and because of the shade and the wildlife. But those who live here say the trees on their beloved street are now on the chopping block as the city of Burbank plans to cut down all the Aleppo pines. But we didn't even know that this was a discussion happening at City Hall, so there was no due process happening, which seems a little bit sketchy to me, a little sneaky. Diane McKinnon says they were just informed last week and she immediately started a change.org petition to stop the axes and neighbors are signing up to fight back. All the wildlife animals that live in the trees, there's no plan to relocate them. There's not, nothing, nothing has been done. Just you know, mutilating all the trees. Neighbors say wildlife is a big deal here as they cherish all the creatures dependent on their 100-year-old trees. We have baby squirrels every year. We, we feed crows. We have, you know, possums and raccoons and all kinds of stuff. And of course, a big issue when it comes to having this many mature trees is the temperature and shade they provide. If you look at the temperature gun here under the sun, the temperature here is almost 125 degrees. As you walk into the shady area, that temperature drops more than 20. The amount of shade that these trees offer our home.